how do you feel to be candidate for Sportsman of the Year, the Laureus Awards? It's pr pretty surreal. You know, I, I can't I can't really like comprehend it in, in my mind really that that you know everything happened like the way it did last season. Um, so when you go and you're up for an award where you know you're going against not only the best athletes even in your event or sport, the best athletes across the entire world in every sport, it's 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 hard to comprehend really. It's I don't know. It's I don't even know how to explain it. Your achievement it's impressive because. Athletics is very close to me, Paul Walt, uh, in my life. And to see you, who is leading now, Paul Walt, who bring uh, the young generation to new level, this is something unique and special. Maybe if you can say and share the feelings about your feelings, about uh, your world record, how do you feel, what do you plan, what you see for, for your future, I think. You know, it, it's it's such a sp special mark. A lot of that is, of course, because of you, because you set the bar so high. We don't have a, that many world record holders from the past 20 years, at least. I mean, of course, before then, they were breaking it all the time. But so, you know, it's a, it's a really difficult event to break the world record. And um, so, you know, it's 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 quite an a, a elite group to be in if you're the a world record holder of this event. So, you know, it's... It's amazing, really. There's there's still quite a few things I need to do if I want to catch you, but um, you know I you know so hopefully this career just started and this you know I'm able to achieve a lot more things. This is great that you, what what you did, and I believe for for the future this is also possible to jump higher, and your goals really show that. And what is your goal? What is your direction? What you want to achieve? I, of, co of course, I want, I want to jump as high as possible, but, um, you know, I think it, a, a really important thing for me now in my career is I, I want to, I want to win, I want to win the championship meets. You know, I, I, I came up a little short in 2019. I, I was second in the world championships. And so, you know, of course that is, that's a meet that I want to win and I want to win several times. And, um, you know, I, I think that the, the big goal right now, I, I'm not thinking so far ahead. I'm more thinking about this summer is, you know, Olympics. I mean, it's the, it's the, the biggest event in, uh, in track and field. It's the pinnacle of our sport. So, you know, I want to go in there and I want to be able to come away with the gold because I think it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just really important. I mean, it's just really important if you want to leave your legacy as one of, one of the, the best pole vaulters to live. How you, 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 you find the, the way with pandemic? Is it disturbing how you do the training, how you organize your competition it's create some some difficulties yeah I, I mean it was pretty tough because i had just coming off of indoor season where i broke the record twice and i was pretty much just on top of the world i felt fantastic jumping and just everything the, the rhythm on the run and everything was just felt really great and then two weeks later everything shut down we have everything shut down no competitions everything's postponed olympics and uh Really, I, I was kind of just lost. I, I, I didn't really know what to do. I, I took it almost like a little bit of an off season. I, uh, I spent, spent a lot of time with my family. It, it was kind of just one of those times where I just kind of took a step back from pole vault, took a step back from the sport. I would like to speak about the Tokyo because as you mentioned, it's already last year when it was postponed, man. It was difficult to find the motivation. I back to to my memory in 1984 los angeles in your father time yeah. when we compete with him i would like to say that that time it was also for me i lost uh, my dream and many many olympians uh, who dream to to compete in olympics win olympics and i lost 84 because of boycott in your case it's in your generation it's it's a little bit different but it also was tough. I understand how tough it was. I think the main thing for me is keeping the motivation and the, you know, the excitement was don't, don't think of it as it's canceled, more just it's postponed. It's, it, it's going to happen. You know, I, I try to just keep training, keep competing, keep staying in shape. And, you know, now we're here. Now we're, you know, four months out or so. We're getting closer and closer. And um, I'm, I'm grateful what we have. And, uh, you know, I'm, I appreciate you guys for figuring out a way to make this thing still happen and, you know, try to go out there and 
do my best and do something special.